Difference between direct cost and indirect cost. Welcome to our discussion on cost classification, where we will delve into the difference between direct cost and indirect cost. Direct cost refers to expenses that can be directly traced to a specific product, service, or department. It includes costs like raw materials, direct labor, and other expenses directly linked to the production of goods or services. Imagine you're making a wooden chair. The cost of the wood, the nails, and the wages of the carpenter who makes the chair, these are all direct costs. They are directly attributable to the production of the chair. On the other hand, indirect cost refers to expenses that support the overall operations of a business and can't be traced to a specific product or service. These include rent, utilities, office supplies, and salaries of administrative staff. Going back to our chair making example, the cost of the factory rent, the electricity used, and the salary of the factory manager, these are all indirect costs. They are necessary for the production of the chair, but they are not directly linked to it. Understanding the difference between these two types of costs is crucial in cost accounting. It helps businesses price their products accurately, manage budgets effectively, and make informed financial decisions. Direct costs are variable in nature. They change with the level of production. Produce more chairs, and your direct costs go up. Produce fewer chairs, and your direct costs go down. On the contrary, indirect costs are typically fixed. They remain the same regardless of your level of production. You have to pay the same rent and utilities whether you produce one chair or a hundred. In terms of allocation, direct costs are easier to assign to specific products or services. They are traceable and can be measured accurately. Indirect costs, however, are more challenging. They need to be allocated based on reasonable methods like square footage for rent or hours worked for salaries. Businesses often overlook indirect costs because they are not as visible as direct costs. But they are just as important. Ignoring them can lead to incorrect pricing, which can impact profitability. Remember, it's not about categorizing costs as good or bad. It's about understanding their nature and how they behave. This way, you can manage them effectively and use them to your advantage. In conclusion, both direct and indirect costs play a significant role in a business. Understanding their differences and how to manage them can significantly impact a business's profitability and success. Thank you for joining us in this discussion. We hope this has shed some light on the difference between direct cost and indirect cost. Keep tuned in for more informative content.